Hello there, I am the Spud Guy, and today we're going to be looking at why the Desmos Geometry Tool is so cool. In case you didn't know, this is a new tool that Desmos just came out with. Um, they've been working on it for a while, as far as I can tell, but um, it's in beta, so it's um, not fully optimized, and there's still a few things missing, but so far it is really cool, and um, here's a few reasons why. So, firstly, um, you see this little little demo I've made called Circle in Terms of Area. Um, you can drag this, and and it just moves the circle and this uh, this segment right here to visualize the radius and the circumference of the circle based on the the area that you input. Now, this is really cool because in normal Desmos, something like this would be a little bit uh, harder to make. So let me let me show you what I mean. Um, this slider right here. Um, it's actually a glider, which is on a segment. So the, the way that this works is you can make uh, a segment object simply by just clicking on this tool and making a segment. And then if you just drag a point onto here and click it, then you can easily, just really easily drag that point and it doesn't go off the segment, which is absolutely perfect for, um, for, for sliders like this, for like U, UI elements and things like that. So. Uh, this geometry beta tool has a lot of potential for making really cool UI um, elements, and I actually made another demo, which we have up here in our other tab, that shows off um, another absolutely incredible feature, which is that you can both click and drag the same polygon. So this may, may seem a little bit uh, trivial at first, but um, basically in, in the normal Desmos graphing calculator, you can't uh, drag pro polygons, first of all, um, you can only drag points. And secondly, if you enable dragging for an object, you can't uh, click on it. So basically what this graph shows, and I'll just disable this right here, don't need that. Um, what this graph shows, and I'll put a link in the description, is that you can you can drag this around, uh, you see this looks like a little mouse cursor, and click it and drag it. I don't know. Um, super duper cool for just making uh, different I don't know, games, it has a lot of potential for for new users coming to Desmos looking to like get into sort of the interactive side of it. But yeah, so those are the two main main things. Basically you can click and drag uh, polygons and you can add gliders, which are super useful for UI. So a lot of times if you're doing, let's just say you're making a ray tracer or something a little bit, just, just anything that requires a grid of points, right? Um, well, first you want to um, obviously uh, make a list of points, right? And usually what you can do is x1 y1 something like this, and that generates um, 100 points in a grid. This is a list comprehension, which is like the most common way uh, to generate sort of grids like this, just because it's super easy and convenient, right? And then sometimes you'll say ge uh, generate polygons from that. So uh, let's just give this list a name, and then we'll put a square at each of these, these points, right? Right, okay, so now we have um, 100 squares. Now let's say for some reason this list is gone anymore. So say we were doing something with like actions, right? And we just set a list to be all of these polygons. Actually, let's do that right now. Uh, let's just make a random list called L1, right? And let's do... Let's turn L1 into these polygons. So now we can't get the points that we're in, that are that these polygons are made out of. Um, so just to demonstrate, if I try to do L1, the first element of L1, right? That's that purple square right there. And I try to get the points that it's made up out of. I, I simply can't do that. So what I'll do is I'll just go over here and I'll paste this into, into geometry beta. Whoops, that didn't work. <laughs> and then what I can do is do l1 1 dot vertices and that gets every point that this this polygon was made out of which is i mean just incredibly incredibly useful so you, you know these uh these squares that i have um that i could move around with the cursor i can do a whole bunch of things with um this information that i couldn't simply couldn't do before without having a whole separate list so that's like the the third really big thing uh you can you can retrieve vertices from polygons right? Um, you can click and drag polygons, really a lot of polygon stuff, and you can really easily make sliders. 
Um, so a lot of huge potential. So let me guys, let me know in the comments if you've made anything uh, cool with this tool yet. Uh, I haven't gotten around to making anything terribly, terribly cool yet. But one, one last thing. Uh, this polygon.vertices uh, attribute, it can do something that a lot of Desmos users have wanted for a very, very long time. So say we have a list, right? And say we want a list of these numbers. Basically lists and lists, right? Super useful for a bunch of things. So um, it would make generating grids a lot easier, for example. Not I'm not going to go too far into that, but it would be really useful in three dimensions and for storing colors. So lists and lists have been like a huge, um, a huge thing that everyone has desired for a really long time. But if you see here, I just put uh, three lists inside of one list and I got an error. However, if we go into geometry beta and we say, let's have a polygon, uh, a list of polygons, right? Or I, rather just one polygon, right? Let's see if you see where I can go in here. One, two, three. Okay, so I, I've got one, two, and three stored in there, right? Now, let's make a list of L1s. L1, 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 all right? That's radical. That's absolutely insane, okay? Let me explain why. I mean, I'm sure you can see why. But we have multiple different values stored inside of one object which allows us to then store those objects inside of a list. So say we wanted to get um, the number three from the second element in this list, right? Say these numbers represent like colors or something, right? We can simply do L2, two dot vertices, oh, three, right? And that gets the third element, actually, sorry, two <laughs> dot X. So I guess the third element of that list. Now it's a little bit convoluted because uh, with polygons and and points in general, um, you can't simply index them like you can lists, right? Like you have to use uh, dot vertices, which gets the vertices of the polygon, and then dot x or dot y, which gets the x and y attributes of the points within the polygon. So it's slightly different than lists inside of lists, but it has a couple of um, a couple of uses um, that I might show off in the future. We'll see. Over time, I'm sure the the geometry beta calculator uh, or tool will get uh, better, and I can't wait to see what else they add. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed. I hope this was helpful and you got some awesome ideas from it. Uh, definitely let me know in the comments if you uh, if you end up making anything awesome using these, uh, using this tool. But anyways, let's bug guy out.